Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's in today's tutorial, I'll be explaining how to use a date picker. So, a date picker is used um in any sort of scheduling app. So that can be like a calendar app or a uh, a sheet, any sort of any sort of app which you plan for, which you use to plan something. Uh, it'll most likely use a date picker. In iOS 14, um, Apple changed how the date picker looks. So it used to look quite bland, but now they've revamped it and it actually looks quite nice now. To so in our in this demo, what I'm just gonna do is just use a text field, and it's going to display the date. And if we click on it, we can change it. So I'll just add some constraints to this text field. We can add keep it in the middle. Oh, let's just keep this in the middle, and I'll also give it some constraints so we want a width of 100 uh, actually we'll keep a width of let's give it a width of more like 200 okay and actually should I just make it fill up the whole screen I'll make it 300 because oh that was a bad idea should have done it in uh, constraints okay width equals 300 okay we can do this and now I'll just add my constraints. So there are actually two ways of adding a date picker. You can just go into storyboard, add a date picker like this. But this doesn't give you enough flexibility. Well, it does, but it doesn't give you enough flexibility in terms of the height and size. You might want it to be different sizes. So that's why we can we're going to do it in code today. So I'm going to add a outlet. I'll name this text field. And we can add an action for when it's clicked. When this is clicked. Oh, no, we don't need an action. So, now we can go to our view controller. And now, the first thing we want is to set an initial date. So, the first, so the initial date of a text field will just be the original today's date. So, what I can do is let date is equal to date. This is today's date. Now I'm going to create a date formatter. And date formatters are really useful for formatting your dates. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just give it a day, day, month, month, year, year format. So format dot oh, date format is equal to. So I have day, day slash month, month. Month is capital M because um, otherwise you'd get confused which one's months and which one's minutes slash year, year, year. And now we can just do text field dot text is equal to formatter dot string from date. Okay, and I'll just click on this. So I'll just uh, make the text color blue because I like blue. Equals dot blue. Okay, let's just see how this works so far. So f so far we haven't actually done anything. All we've done is when it's uh, when the date picker is created, we're just going to show. Th I mean, not date picker. When the view is loaded, we're just going to show the right date. So, and there we go. This is our date picker. So, what we want to do is we can just uh, center that in the middle. And what I'll do is just make the text in the center. So I'll just put that there, and oh, okay. Now we can go and start creating our date picker. So when the view is loaded, we want to also create a date picker. So what we we'll do is do let date picker equal to UI date picker. This is the UI object which we're going to be using to use date picker, and you can actually have different. This date picker can can also be used for other things except just the date. So if we do date picker mode and do this, you can see it can be used for a countdown timer, a date, date and time, and time. Um, for now we want a date, but I'll cover time in a later video. And we also want to add a target, so when the date picker is changed, we want to know what the new value is. So add target self action would be a hashtag selector and we need to create an objective c method so we'll just uh, at 
Objective C Funk. Uh, we'll do date picker value changed. Uh, we need sender UI date picker. Okay, so when date picker is changed, this event will be notified. All right, I'll just notify is a bad word, and event this function will be run. Okay, now I can just put that there. Date picker value change, and for UI control element dot event dot. Uh, we'll do edit in changed, so it's instant. If we do value change, we have to wait until the user actually uh, clicks done or something like that. And now the last thing we need to do is just set the text field's input view. Input view is equal to date picker. Okay, so now we can just test this quickly. So when when this is when the values change, we can just see what the new date is. So we'll just print. Uh, we'll just print the sender dot date because we set the sender as a UI date picker. Okay, let's just check this quickly. I'll just run this. And if we click on this, you can see this thing pops up. Um, actually, we can fix that by, if we just go here and we add a frame to it. So date picker dot frame dot size is equal to CG size width and we can the width doesn't have to be anything we can just set it to zero it will always take up the full length and we'll set the height to 250 and now let's just run this again so I know it's inconvenient to have to bring this menu up and then click on it but right now I don't know any way you can actually get around this I might make an updated video to cover how you get around this but for now you're gonna have to just do this so what you can do is just change the date and now you can click done and why hasn't it changed uh, let me just quickly make this dot value change because I was trying something new but I thought it would work but I guess it won't let's just see if it works now yeah that works okay so when we change this uh, let's change the 1st of December, it's 1st of December 2020 we don't really care about the time but we can look at that anyway uh, now if we change to 14th so all of that works and now all we need to do is when this is changed we need to create a new formatter here because date formatter and we're just going to format the date the same way we did here so I'll just change, copy and paste that and replace this with sender dot date. We also don't need this. Okay, that should be it for the project. Let's see how this works. Okay, I'll change that. Now I can do this. And let's just select the 19th of January. And there we go. So, yeah. Uh, one more thing, I'll just change this to link, because link looks nicer. <laughs> so if I just, yeah, that looks way nicer. 8th of d December, and yeah, so that's how you use a date picker in Swift. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.